Awesome. Well, as promised, a little bit of a chat on Facebook last night, and uh, yeah, this is a little video that I'm providing for in honor of the eclipse. The sun just there is going to have a moon coming between the sun and the earth in just about 15 hours from now. Very uh, auspicious occasion, really. Today is a red cosmic moon in the dream spell which is the 13th day of the Red Magnetic Earth Wave Spell. I felt like I'd share a little bit about the holonomic key, about how it's applied, its implications, and or application. So it's a red cosmic moon today. I'm a yellow galactic sun, and that means that I'm in the red galactic moon today, bringing integrity to the process of universal water as consciousness we flow that is uh, where the dream spell comes in it's like the child it's, it's standing on the shoulders of the traditional view the parents the parents that gave birth to the opportunity for us to have a new view and so yeah there's a new view I'm sitting a little bit back from the beach because it's windy and I wanted to make sure that you could hear me yeah, I like to wear the sunnies, the mirrors. I like the mirrors because if we are going to meet eye and eye, we must realize that what we're seeing in each other is actually subjective as a reflection of ourselves. <laughs> Everything keeps changing. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to let you know. I haven't actually got anything to hide here, but hopefully you might like the extra addition of those reflections. Appreciate that. So the application of the dream spell is very easy when we recognize it all comes back to a miracle. Our birth, everyone shares this miracle. It's what we have in common. It's unity. We've all been born through a mother, thanks to a father, seeding our potential for this life. Hallelujah. The application of the dream spell became more relevant to me when I had a dream coming from the International Crystal Skulls Conference back in 2004, which was a three-phase dream that came with a commandment at the end, find the person's galactic signature and the police don't have to come. This is a code relating to the prophecy of the 21st of December 2012. We're crossing a bridge together. I mean, if we're going to experience some sort of conflict, is it police that's going to solve it for us, or is it ourselves, our own connection with each other, our community, our intention? I feel that's where the solution is, hence why trying to have police who are not necessarily completely trained up to deal with every situation aren't going to solve it. We have to do it together, and that's why this code comes in. It allows us to transform traditional views, maybe reactions of this person did this and therefore I'll do that, some sort of war. But we're here in peace, aren't we? It's a miracle that we live and it's a co-creation, something that we can actually cultivate so that we prosper together. The dream spell is standing on the shoulders of that traditional view and we're heading towards the 21st of December today at Red Cosmic Moon, just 38 days here in Australia until we hit the 21st of December. People all around the planet calling it up, acknowledging something's changing, something's shifting, and the power's in our hands as people, as one, across all cultures, across all countries, across all borders. We are one people, one Today on this red cosmic moon that comes with a code spell where we endure to purify, transcending flow and bring presence to the process of universal water through the power of space, exploring wakefulness. And at that Crystal Skulls conference back in 2004, which I filmed, the extent, most of it, well, people spoke about the Mayan calendar. There was people talking about crystal skulls handling, handing their time over to speak about the Mayan calendar and its application. 
and as I filmed the rest of that conference, still I hadn't spoken, and I certainly had something to say about the application of the holonomic key, which I did, because I was asked to return with the rest of the people still at the conference the next day on a red cosmic skywalker, for example the guide of this day, to speak about what we make together. What's your galactic signature? What do you make with your loved ones? Where are you today? What's happened? What, what's occurred that's caused... I mean, it doesn't have to be a conflict. It could be actually a climax. It could be a, a victory of waking up. There was a moment, a transformation that occurred in your life. It could have been an accident or it could have appeared to be an accident. It's all miracles. We're all in this together. We know that, the law of one. We have an opportunity to improve the way that we communicate with each other. Because the implications of us realizing that we are all in this together, <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to fight each other still? Or are we going to find better ways? We're going to fight for a better way. And that doesn't mean harming each other, that means digging deep into ourselves. <sighs> Being real. What is it that we can do to make it better? Right now, we have the opportunity presented with the idea. <laughs> so I'd like to share some more videos actually about the application of the dream spell because we are converging. We're waking up to this. I know it. It's been timely. Everything at the right time. It's not going to be the same. It's changing because we're bringing our attention into it. We're recognising we do have the opportunity to change it. And it's not some authority out there that's caused trauma and you're still carrying the hurt. But we have the opportunity right now to make it better because we know we've all got the healing power. We just need to remember. So in Australia, when we hit this eclipse, it's going to be a white magnetic dog day where we unify to love, attract loyalty and bring purpose to the process of heart. And of course, we've experienced the evolution of the Magical Mystery Tour. I'd like to welcome you all onto the magic carpet.